So now we're on to the outfit. Um, and the first thing we're going to make is Polly's dress. So I've got this nice cotton fabric. Um, and as you can see, I've already cut the skirt out. So I've got the front section of the skirt along with the two back pieces. And there's your centre back seam. I've also cut out the two bodices, so the front bodice and the nine in bodice for the front. So I've cut my pattern pieces out on card and as you can see they've got a small seam allowance already included. So take my bodice piece and I'm just going to use, um, as you can see it's on card, um, I'm just going to use a lead pencil because I'm actually going to cut that section of the uh, fabric away so it doesn't matter um, that it's uh, a lead pencil that you're using. So just place the pattern piece on and just draw around with your pencil. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then so the next thing you're going to do is cut your pattern pieces out. So taking your small sharp scissors just basically cut along that line that you've just drawn. So do that on all four pieces of the bodice. So you've now got all your bodices cut out. So you've got two front bodices and you've got four back bodices. And the next thing for us to do is to line the shoulders up on the bodices and just pop a pin in. Do that on both shoulders and repeat for the other section of the bodices and we're going to sew just along those top shoulder seams to start with. So I've machine stitched along the top edges of the shoulder seams and now just to get rid of the pencil mark I'm just going to trim um, those seams back um, and I'm going to use my pink inches. And the next thing for us to do is to open those seams out so that they're nice and flat um, and then you can give them a nice old press. Now I like to use a travel iron. Um, I find that a travel iron is so much easier to use because it's smaller and it's just perfect for ironing out any dolly outfits. So here we have the two bodices sewn. So sewn along the shoulder seams there and as you can see they're ironed out uh, nice and flat. And then you're going to turn one over so that when you put the other one on top you've got uh, right sides facing. I like to start pinning at that shoulder seam so just make sure that that seam is nice and flat and pop a pin in, turn it over and repeat for the other side. And then lay it down nice and flat. Just make sure that the pieces are evenly matched. And then just add some more pins. So start at the back centre seams, just pop some pins in there. And then put a pin in the front neck. And then we're going to sew that those two bodices together. So I start at the back centre seam and I work up and go round the neck and then down the other back centre seam. So I've sewn all the way round the back seams and the neck edge 
and then now the next thing for me to do is to pink the edges. Lovely, so that's now all nicely sewn and pinked around that edge. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pin around both armholes. And then same as before, we're going to sew around the edge of the armhole. So we've sewn around the armhole edges and now we're going to pink those edges as well. Make sure that you get it nice and tight up to that stitch line um, because it is a curve, obviously not so close that you're going to snip the stitches um, but as close as you can get uh, to help ease in of the curve. Okay, so nicely sewn around the arm seams and pinked. Now it's time for us to turn it the right side facing. So we need to bring that back through to the front. So what I like to use are these long handled tweezers. So it's a much easier way of uh, turning small items. So push your tweezers through the front of the bodice and grab some of the back bodice through the tweezers and then give it a little pull and there you see that little tiny piece coming out from the back so grab hold of that and give it a pull and out comes the back bodice and then just repeat again for the other side so up through the front bodice through the shoulder seam grab hold of some of the back bodice in your tweezers Hold it nice and tight and pull through. And as you can see, you can only get a little bit through to start with, but that's enough just for you to grab hold of to pull the rest of the back bodice through. So you now need to start easing those seams out. So just run your fingers through them to start with, especially on those corners. And then gently pull around the neck edge that just helps to pull the stitches into place and then what we're going to do is we're going to use our dotting tool again that we used on our doll and we're going to use this to push out those seams so that they are laying nice and flat so just work your way through the whole of the bodice um, seams that you've sewn so start with the back work your way around the neck edge and then you're also going to um, work through the armhole seams. you have nicely flattened out seams um, which is going to make it easier to iron okay so I've given it a nice iron so it's all pressed out nicely on both sides and the next thing for us to do is to join the two side seams together 
So take your back bodice and open out that side seam and then your front bodice and open out that side seam as well and then just lay the two together. Matching up those inside uh, seams that are already there and then just place a couple of pins in just to hold in place and then once you've done that side you can then repeat on the other side. Now we're going to machine stitch those side seams in place. So I've sewn both sides of the side seams and now I'm just going to take my pink and shears and just neaten the edges. And then the next thing to do is to iron those seams out flat on both sides. And there's your bodice, nicely pressed out those seams, both sides. Yeah, so a sweet little bodice um, is ready, ready for the skirt. Now we're moving on to the skirt, so you've got three pieces, you'll have a front section and you'll have two back pieces and what we're going to do is we're going to neaten the edges, the outside edges of the six pieces. Now you can do this whatever way you like, you could use pink and shears or you might want to do um, a zigzag stitch all the way down or you could use an overlocker to neaten the edges. So before we go any further I just want to show you a quick little hack for neatening your edges. So on your machine fur um, you can see that it's got a little gap at the front there and what I like to do is to feed the fabric through that little gap there. So as you're sewing away just try to get the fabric through that little gap and it will automatically just turn over a tiny little fraction of the fabric as you sew and this just gives a really nice neatened edge. Um, I think if you do a zigzag stitch you tend to get end up getting a little bit of a fluffy edge but by doing it this way just poking it through that gap as you sew it will just give a really nice finish. Well my six edges have now all been um, neatened so there's that little stitch you can see it's just got that little tiny weeny folded over edge um, you get a nice sharp um, edge um, by using that little um, hack. Yeah it just prevents having those fluffy zigzag edges. And now I've ironed out those neatened edges and now we're just going to put right sides together on the skirt pieces and just pin in place. So that's the two side seams pinned together and we're just going to leave that back seam open for the time being. Okay so what I've done here is I've sewn my seams, my side seams together and I've ironed them out flat 
and as you can see there's that nice edge so it's not a fluffy zigzaggy edge it makes a nice finish and then I've also trimmed along with my pinking shears just the lower edge and as you can see I've only taken off a very small amount and I've also added my gathering stitch and I sew the gathering stitch with the wrong side facing and the gathering stitch is a 4.5 stitch length and I've done two rows and so my needle thread is blue and my bobbin thread is red so this will help you to recognize which threads to pull so you should never pull the bobbin thread because it would just tighten it too much you should always pull on the needle thread and so I've got two rows of gathers I've got one row which is about a machine's width foot from the top and then the second one again about a machine's width down from the first so as you can see I've just done one long continuous line of double gather stitches and then when you get to that back those back seams if you just turn a little flap over and so your gather stitches through that as well so now we're going to attach our bodice to our skirt now when you do a double lined bodice like this you can always sort of have a look and choose which one you like the best that side or that side now I like this side because it's got a few more flowers um, on the front so I'm going to use this as the front side of my bodice. So you need to find the centre point and pop a pin in and I'm only going through the front bodice not the back bodice and then take the skirts and line the back edges up together and then find the centre point of the front section of the skirt and just give it a little press with your finger and thumb that will give it a little press, a little crease so I know that that's my centre point and I'm just going to pop a little pin in there as well so I've got my two pins centre front so I've got my bodice centre front and my skirt centre front. So with right sides facing I'm then going to match the two pins. So this is the bodice front and the skirt front centres. So match the two pins and then find the back. So we've got the underarm seam and we've got the back seam and that's where we're working to, that back seam there. So take the back section of the skirt and line it up with that centre back seam on the bodice. And pop a pin in. And then you've got the side seam of the skirt that you're going to match to the underarm seam on the bodice. So pop a pin in there. And so now you've got three pins placed. You've got one in the centre, one on the underarm side of the skirt and one in the back. And you're going to take your needle threads so in my case the two blue threads I don't want the red threads because they're the bobbin threads so I'm going to push them behind and I'm now going to pull on those two blue threads now if you happen to pull on your bobbin threads so my red threads you you're going to lock the gathers so you won't be able to pull any further so just be careful to pull only on the needle threads, the top threads.
So just keep pulling those gathers through and you can actually over gather and then you can gently stretch that bodice back to fit the gathers. And then when you can feel that the gathers are in alignment with the bodice, you can take those two threads and you can wrap them around um, the back pin there in a figure of eight just to secure them and stop them from uh, stop the gathers from uh, becoming loose. So then you just need to even your gathers out um, in that section that you've pinned. So firstly in between the back and the side section and just pop another pin in there once those gathers are evenly positioned. And then the front section, so from the centre front to the side seam, just evenly space those gathers out. And again put in another pin there. And then just repeat for the other side. So back seam of the skirt to the back seam of the bodice. Pop a pin in. Find the, the side seam of the skirt and the underarm seam of the bodice and pop a pin in there. Then take your two gather threads, which are in my case are my two blue threads, which are my needle threads, not my red threads. Pull the two together at the same time to pull those gathers through. Keep pulling, keep smoothing out. Pull again, pull again, keep pulling, keep smoothing, keep pulling, keep smoothing. So I'm over gathered and I'm not, I'm still pulling, I'm still smoothing. So I'm over gathered, so now I'm just going to stretch those back. So grab my back seam and my centre seam and pull, then take those two threads and wrap them around my pin. And then just take the gathers and position them nice and evenly. So that's the centre back bit, pop a pin in. And that's the centre front section. Gather it all out nice and evenly. And then pop another pin in. So the skirt is completely pinned to the bodice. It's attached to the bodice front and not to the bodice lining at the back. And so next we're gonna sew this together and our stitch line is going to go right in between those two gathering stitches. So I've sewn all the way round and as you can see it's just under that first line of gather stitches. And next we need to take out our gathering stitches and we can only pull on those two top blue threads, the needle threads. If you pull on the red thread you're going to lock it and you're never going to get your gather stitches out. But first we're going to find our halfway mark on our skirt and take an unpicker and I'm just going to snip through that blue thread there, the top thread, and snip through the blue thread on the bottom thread. And then that way when I pull on my two blue threads this side, I can pull out that section of gathering thread and then on the other side I can pull there and pull out the gathering thread on that side. 
and then I'll be able to pull both my red threads through all at once. And so now both lines of the gathering stitches are completely out. And so the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to sew another stitch line just above that first stitch line that we've done. And this will just help to keep those gathers nice and flat so that when you bring the bodice line in over it, it's not all lumpy bumpy. So I've done my second stitch line just above that first stitch line and then the next thing I'm going to do is to just snip off the excess fabric above that second stitch line. And so that just gives it a nice finish, a nice edge to the top of the skirt and so when you bring that lining bodice over and you hook that bit up it's going to give it a nice flatter finish because you've sewn down twice. So I'm just gently pulling my skirt down from my bodice um, and as you can see those gather stitches have produced some really nice tiny little gathers on the skirt and they're all even and consistent all the way through. So we do need to give it a little press otherwise that seam there will have a little ridge in it. So what I like to use are these small sleeve ironing boards. Um, I find that absolutely great for ironing out small dolly items. So you can lay your outfit on there, it's not too big, and then you can pull those gathers down nice and flat. And then with just the tip of your iron, you can just press out those gathering stitches. So it's nice and even and smooth. I haven't taken the iron down too far, so it's basically just ironing along the very tip of where those gathers are. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to sew this back seam together. So turn it right sides facing and match those back seams and then run your fingers down to the bottom and just hold those two back seams together and just place a pin in and then you're going to sew up that back seam uh, just leaving a small opening at the centre back. So I've sewn that back seam and it's all nicely ironed out flat. And then the next thing to do is to do the hem. And so basically I'm just turning up a small little hem, it's about a centimetre. And I'm just popping a couple of pins in. I just tend to put one on the back seam, a pin on each of the side seams and one pin centre front. So now I'm going to sew all the way around the hem. Okay, so I've sewn the hem all the way along the bottom um, and as you can see it's just a small turned up hem and um, I've ironed it as well. And so moving on we need to finish the inside of the bodice. So turn the dress inside out and then basically with that bodice lining just turn up that little hem bit, taking it down to those gather stitches and just pop a pin in and then that outside centre back bit where you've already folded the skirt side in, you've only just got to flick that bodice up and under. 
gonna go and pop another pin in there. And then basically just work all the way around the bodice lining, just pinning it to the skirt. So you can see now it's all pinned in nicely and it's all ready to hand sew. And the stitch I tend to do is just a small little slip stitch. So picking up some of the bodice and then a little bit of the gather stitch, some of the bodice, a little bit of the gather stitch. So the bodice lining has now been sewn to the skirt all the way round with a nice little slip stitch and as you can see I've also added my clear snap fasteners to the back of the dress and yeah three snap fasteners each side is enough So yeah, there you have a sweet little dress for your dolly.